Daryl Sloan, a survivor of stolen generations, was two years old when the police charged him with vagrancy. Key points today is the sorry day, annual compensation for damage caused by the forced removal of First Nations children from their families today is sorry day, annual agreement on the harm caused by forced removal of First Nations children from their families currently out of home, care, Aboriginal, or Torres Strait Islander, more than 40% of Australian children currently in out of home, care, are Aboriginal, or Torres Strait Islander stolen generation survivor and carer Daryl Sloan fears. History repeats itself he and his brothers were accused of having no established place and no visible means of support. It turned out that in 1963, her mother went to the police in desperation, seeking help. She was fleeing domestic violence and took her five children with her. Mr. Sloan said mother had found accommodation for him and family in Shepparton and two oldest daughters, but was unable to bring three younger children with him. He approached welfare groups, hoping they could help him with temporary accommodation for the whole family, but had no luck. As a last resort, he asked the police. And we made wards of the state as a result, Sloan said. He carries a copy of his police documents with him because few believe him when he says he faced criminal charges as a child. Daryl Sloan carries the charge sheet he bought with him everywhere as a toddler. Absolute confusion, utter despair Mr Sloan and his siblings have repeatedly moved between children's homes in Melbourne due to overcrowding. The memories he has since then are those of a boy who is not yet three years old. Finally one day a big, black, shiny car the biggest, blackest, brightest car I've ever seen came along and we men were told to get in. He remembers vivid S of driver in pork pie hat, the smell of his cigarettes, and woman in white gloves and coloured silk ribbon. They were taking him to Ballarat, where Mr Sloan was separated from his siblings while being placed in orphanages by age. But we were not orphans, we had nowhere to live, he said. She remembers talking to her siblings to a fence. To sum up those years, it was just confusion, utter despair, Sloan said. Where wanted to be, you didn't even know where were. The confusion of going from a youngest child to a family of five to over 300 utterly powerless. Communities around Australia gather to commemorate National Sorry Day on the 26th of May. Today, Mr Sloan uses his experience to help others. He works in family violence prevention and has been a foster carer with his wife for more than 20 years. If we can give child safe bed, safe room and full belly and they know they care, we've accomplished lot, even if it's just one night, he said. Uncle Aaron Perkins Kempberger says he kept his father's trauma a secret, who survived the stolen generations. Break the cycle Arendt Adam, an Albury resident Uncle Aaron Perkins K.